Hey guys, I'm Tiffany and this is my daughter Nova. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time coming. Today's video is going to be... Don't. So today's video is going to be on my daughter's bow collection and how I installed her bow rack. And yeah, I'm going to put her down real quick because she's getting restless and I'll get right into okay, it. Okay, so before I get into showing you guys how I installed the bow collection or the bow rack, I am going to share with you guys where I get a lot of her bows because I get a lot of questions on my Instagram and her Instagram on where do I get her bows from and typically I tag where I get the bows from but I guess a lot of people a lot of times people don't know that I tag them so um, yeah I'm going to share with you guys my top 10 places that I like to purchase her bows from and I have my, my list on my phone so I'm going to go off of it and if you can hear her she's just playing, playing so. <laughs> So the first shop that I have on my list is called Little Lopers, and their bows are the huge, these huge head wrap bows that you see right here, the head wrap ones. And so I love these because they are wrapped like, I feel like so nice, and I just love like the big bows. A lot of people don't like the huge bows, but I love them. They're really cute. That you guys could, y'all saw Nova had one on in the beginning of the video. That was a Little Lopers bow. So the, like this ye yellow one. Well, oh, Mama, hey. So this yellow one, um, you see the, the little lopers tag, and uh, they come in different sizes. I think they have newborn, and then like zero to three, and then I think they have like um, like a baby one, and then a toddler one, and I believe they have some for adults too. If you're like into wearing wearing bows, if y'all watch me, if you've been watching for me for a long time, you guys know that I used to like wear the little headband bows too a long time ago. But anyways, so they look like this, and a lot of these are. I'm pretty sure majority of these they come untied but they're tied pretty tightly so I haven't had any issues with any of them coming apart I think except for one but I don't believe it was from this brand um, but there are videos on on YouTube on how to retie them in case they do um, untie but I want to let you guys know that they do untie they're not permanent these are not permanent but they are tied pretty tightly in there they stretch and yeah, I love this one. And then they also have a, a Facebook group where she like announces like her drops on different pattern bows and everything. And yeah, I'm just obsessed with Little Loper, Little Lopers bows. She's like my number one shop. So my next favorite bow shop is called Mila and Ariana, and they are also the head wrap bo head wrap bows right here. And uh, they're pretty similar. However, I think they might be a little bit cheaper. But I like hers because she always has like five dollar Fridays where she'll have like one bow that's only five dollars. And yeah, she has really cute patterns. I think this one, which one? And then she has like th these ones. This is this is one that Nova wore on Valentine's Day. She's got these little patterns. Um, what else? I think this watermelon came, watermelon one came from there. Um, I have quite a few. I don't know which ones off of hand, but I know a lot of these ones between these, I, be, I believe all the colored ones are like between Mila, Mila and Ariana and Little Lopers, um, shop. So yeah, check out her page. Uh, she's got an Instagram and a shop, I believe. And I'll try to link all of these, um, websites in the description box. So you guys can check them out. My next favorite bow shop is called Baby Bling. And so, okay, so these bows are kind of pricey, but I love them because you can put them on your baby as soon as they're born. Like I believe Nova had one. I'm like 99% sure she had on a bow when she came home. <laughs> She's literally had a bow like since the day she was born. But anyways, they are these nylon bows. I don't know if you can really see up here, but they're all of these like nylon looking ones. And they come in different patterns, solids, different prints. And they are really pretty. I love them. And also, I have a subscription. I know I'm crazy. I'm like, it's ridiculous. But I'm a part of like their subscription where every month, I believe you pay, what, I think I pay $19 a month. And they send me two head wraps, I think, a month. Two or three? Two. Two. Two head wraps a month. Um, and yeah, so I get them every month and I can pick which ones that I want, which I don't, which ones I don't want, which makes it a little bit cheaper because I think they are pricier than that individually if you don't do the subscription, uh, which is kind of crazy, but they're really cute and I love them. And you would be surprised, like all the, like the mama community that are like obsessed with these different bows, like Little Loopers <laughs> Facebook community is huge. Baby Blinks Facebook community, c community is huge. Like they're super popular. All right, the next one that I like is um, Stevie J's head wraps. And let's see, I think we only have two of hers. Or maybe we only have one. 
I think this is the only one that we have of hers. And it's just, it's a bigger bow. It's like longer a little bit. I don't, you probably can't even tell the difference, but this is one of them. And I feel like she just kind of has to grow into this one because it's just so, so long. But it's really cute and um, their site looks amazing. Like, I don't know. You gotta just check them out. So the next site that I'm gonna mention is called Think Pink Bows. And they have a variety of different bows. They have nylons. I'm pretty sure they have head wraps. And they're very, very affordable. And let's see. So like, <coughs> excuse me. This one is from there. But you can see the bow is different. It's not like the the, the baby bling, bling bow, but it's still like a cute bow. Um, where else? I don't think I have many from there. That one, where is that one? This one right here is from there. It's nylon. Um, I think that's pretty much all. I don't know where the rest of them are. But check them out. Again, like their, their bows are um, very affordable. So yeah, check out those ones, that website. The next one that I like is called Savvy Halos. <laughs> and where, what bows did I get from there? So Savvy Halos have head wraps like this. They also have bows on nylons, like these ones, if you're into these. Um, and then the other shops that I mentioned earlier also have those too. Uh, but these are two that I got from Savvy Halos. These, y'all know I'm like obsessed with floral. So I've got this one, and we've got this one. Super cute. Halo sometimes does, I think, 5 for 25 if I'm not mistaken. I think that's a sale, but I know she always has some type of sale like that. Maybe it's 5 for 20 um, So you can check out her Instagram and her, I think, Etsy shop um, to find out. She always has good deals. This one that I'm going to mention is Tagimi Treasures, and I like her page. I found her page on, or her, yeah, I found her site on Etsy, her shop on Etsy, and I like hers because she makes permanent knots. This is a Tajimi, hopefully I'm saying that right, Tajimi or Tajimi Treasures. This bow is sewn, so it does, it's not going to come undone like the other one. If you're concerned with your bows coming unwrapped, I would check out her Etsy, Tajimi, Tajimi Treasures. My next favorite shop is called Millie and Bows, and she's on Instagram, and I think she has a, a, an Etsy shop too. And I like hers because she has like different styles. She has, if you follow me on Instagram, um, a Chick-fil-A bow. Mm, oh, right here. A Chick-fil-A bow, <laughs> so cute. And y'all, this girl ties her bows to perfection. Like she kills it. Um, and then also this avocado bow, I believe. Yeah, I got from her. She has really cute, cute pattern. This Target bow is from her. She's got so many cute patterns. Love her shop. Oh, this one, po this Post Malone <laughs> bow. So adorable. So check out her page as well. Check out all these page pages, you guys. <laughs> I keep saying. All right, two more. Next one is called Rust and Stardust, and I just ordered a bow from them. It's a um, a Lisa Frank inspired bow, and I forget which other one I got from them. Shoot, I don't even know. But I put on this list. I know I have another one from them, but I just don't, don't know which one. But they have cute ones too, so check out their website. <laughs> and then the last one, it is not a bow company. It's a turban company, so if you like turbans for your babies, it's called Little Knots Co. Um, <laughs> hey, almost done, mama. So, the, so we have this one. It's like a swim cap, and you can see like the little knot on it. It's actually made out of like the swimsuit material, so, you can, so they could wear it to the pool. Um, here's another one that I have. I don't know that Noah can fit this anymore. This is a newborn one, but she has like the turbans with the bows on them. And then lastly, I have got this little one. It's just a really pretty blue color with an um, with a knot on it. So yeah. So there we have it. Those are my top 10 favorite bow collections. If you guys have any shops that you guys want to let me know about, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions about them, you can let me know in the comments as well. And if you're interested to see how I put this together, then keep on watching. Okay, so for, before starting this step, you want to measure out how far apart you want your rails. We just took one of her bows and put it in between two rails to see how far apart we wanted them. And then after that, my husband marked on the doors and I, now I am taking my drill and drilling a hole into each of those dots. You're gonna to want to take this size screws. The rails do not come with screws, so you're gonna to have to buy them separately. And you want to screw the this little thing on the bob. I have no idea what this thing is called. <laughs> you want to screw each of them into the holes that you made on the door.
Okay, next, each of these rails have a little screw that's in these other thingamabobs that I have no idea what, I'm, what they're called again. I'm sorry, y'all. But anyways, you want to just unscrew the thing from out of it, and you'll see as I'm doing it in this video. Unscrew that so that you can push the rails into the little other thingamabobs on the door. And again, you'll see me do that in a second. Make sure you don't lose these little screws either because you have you need them to tighten once you put the rails on the door. And I don't think that I filmed myself doing that, so just make sure you do that um, if you want to do this project. the rails in to the holes and screw those things back in. And next you now you can just take the center stuff hooks that you buy separately from the rails and you hang them on to the rails to hang up whatever you want to hang. In my case, I'm hanging my daughter's bows. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any requests for videos, leave them in the comments. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.